Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dino and today I want to talk a little bit about dynamic and um, our dynamic changes. Before we start with this subject, please make sure to check uh, my content on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe. Uh, check my Instagram and Facebook where I'm posting daily um, tips on your practice and all kind of things. So make sure to check that out and uh, follow me on there. All these links you can find down below. So you probably heard of word uh, dynamic before, but you were probably asking yourself what it means. Well, I'm going to explain you today um, term dynamic and as uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, show you basic dynamic symbols in music that could be really helpful if you're just starting learning uh, piano. So dynamic refers to the volume of sound of note and term is also applied to the uh, written or uh, printed uh, musical notation used to uh, indicate dynamics. Uh, so dynamics are relative and do not refer to specific volume levels. Traditionally, the ma dynamic markings are based on Italian words. And although there is nothing wrong with simply writing things like quietly or uh, louder in music, we are writing it uh, using Italian. That's forte for loud and quiet uh, is piano. Uh, the instrument commonly called the piano, <laughs> by the way, was originally called piano forte because uh, it could play dynamics unlike earlier popular keyboard instruments such as uh, harps, harp, harpsichord and uh, spinet. So dynamic uh, markings in music are usually written right in between those keys. So you have treble clef, then you have bass clef, and that space in between keys, it's usually for um, these un dynamic markings. So today uh, we will learn first our main dynamic levels. So we have piano, which is quiet, and then we have forte, which stands for uh, loud. If you want, uh, um, more uh, subtle degrees of uh, loudness and um, and softness, then we are indicating that as MP, that stands for mezzo piano, which if we translate is me, it means like medium um, uh, soft and MF, that stands for mezzo forte, which if we translate will stand for uh, medium loud. Now, beyond forte and piano, we also have um, PP that stands for pianissimo uh, and means very soft. And then we have FF that stands for fortissimo, uh, which if, if we translate, stand, uh, it's translated as um, very loud. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you all this. So. We can play piano on any key. So this is how it sounds. It's all in how much pressure you're putting in your fingers. So just make sure to be really soft when you're putting your hand down and gently press your key. So gently, no pressure, and you will produce your piano. If you put just a little pressure to your fingers, we will have mats of piano. It's like this. A little bit more pressure and you will have mats of forte. And if you put more pressure than this, you have forte. Uh, now, beside these um, main dynamic signs, uh, so piano, uh, quiet, forte, uh, loud, MP that stands for mezzo piano is uh, medium quiet, MF mezzo forte that stands for medium loud, we have uh, some um, other dynamic changes. So uh, to gradually change the uh, dynamic, uh, 
uh, we are using crescendo and diminuendo. Diminuendo is also known as decrescendo. So both is the same diminuendo or decrescendo. It's, uh, it's the same thing. Crescendo, it means gradually louder. So we start piano and we'll, we will end up in forte like this. And now we want to do diminuendo or decrescendo on our way back. So we are going from loud to quiet. Now, how are you going to recognize this? Just remember, if lines are connected and then they start separating, that means that we are going from quiet to louder sound. And uh, if we have diminuendo or decrescendo, which is uh, marked as D-I-M or D-E-C-R-E-S-C, -E um, it means gradually play softer. So lines are open and they're, they're closing just like you can see below. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe right here to, to check these videos. Uh, make sure to check my Instagram and Facebook and follow me on there. Come back next week. I'll be talking uh, about difference between mordant and trill. That should be really fun. And um, have a good practice. I'll see you next week. Bye.